Welcome back, this is Phil from Advanced Technical Services Another short tutorial on Magitech software We are using the new Magitech 4 software and we've processed a cycle on an autoclave and we've got four data loggers that we've stopped and we just need to get the data off and uh, so I've got the first one connected so we select the device and we hit download it's going to prompt us for a title and so this one here is the temp back and I know that because I gave it an ID from an earlier video we've now got that data saved into Magitech we're going to grab the next data logger and put that in the system and Magitech will automatically pick up once we've installed the data logger it's constantly searching and we'll see that We'll click on device and download and this one here is the front temp front when I can spell correctly oh done quicker than a speeding bullet We'll put the next one in. Wait for Magitech to find it. There it is. We'll select it. Click on device. Download. It's prompting. This one here is the middle. So we'll call it temp middle. You could give it the client name. Um, and cycle if you wanted um, in this instance oh it's already downloaded it's quicker than a speeding bullet isn't it and we'll put the final one in wait for Magitech to pick it up there we go device download it's going to prompt us again so this one here is the pressure we're getting this from the ID which we preloaded on the data loggers in a previous video. And there we go. So we've now got the four um, data sets there. So at the moment we're looking at connected devices. I've only got one device connected which is the pressure sensor. But if I click on the files, I've now got four files sitting in here. So I've got these, we refer to these as reports, a graph. Um, one for each individual channel or data logger that's in the system but um, I really want to get them all onto one graph um, and I'll show you how to do that right now so select the top one and hold the shift key down and select the bottom one and we've now got uh, all four selected you could use the control key to deselect or select individual files now let's right click and will add to the untitled report now it's automatically given it a name which is not the name I like to use but so I relabel it at this point and we'll just call a sample graph and normally for a client we give it the client name the uh, serial number the cycle and the date uh, all this information appears on the graph that we print now um, just a few little things that I like to think we've for some reason don't have a menu bar which is interesting there's always something display let's just see if we can turn the menu bar on It's not that button. There we go. We've got our menu bar back. Okay. So we want to manage the axes. And I want to put both the axes on the left. 
because um, if I don't, the legend is obs obscures one of the axes. And we've got that. And what I like to do is just change the colours of the um, things. And we'll pick that colour for the back. The front, we'll make that a fine blue. So we click on report. Nine colours, that's a nice blue. And the middle will leave as red. Now if you only had one data logger for temperature, you could have that set at red as an option and green for the pressure. But because I like to have a different colour for each channel, um, I've had to go through that process. And now we've got our report or graph ready to go. Uh, we'll print preview. Um, I like to change the orientation to landscape. And you can see we've got a legend here both our scales on the left hand side and the title and we're all ready to rock so we should save that so we'll go file save to and if we were saving these in a network we could save them in a network and uh, I'm just going to put this to the desktop and we'll call it sample graph and then we can retrieve that at a later date um, all ready to go so let's try and retrieve that right now we'll save these others that little asterisk means that it hasn't been saved so if I see there if I come up to save now the asterisk is gone save and the asterisk is gone and that saving is saving them internally within the database um, Magitech has its own um, internal database so what we want to do is we'll go file open and it was called something along the lines of sample graph and it's asking us for a title and we'll call it sample graph and there it all is with the colors and if we go file, print preview, we've got it all there as exactly as it was. So, too easy. And uh, that concludes this video.